this morning, family. Black Phoenix checking in with you, man. I was just up. About to get my grand on, man. I was just thinking about something about practicing to make yourself better. Um, practice is a big thing with making yourself better in your craft, whatever field that you are trying to um, perfect. But also, you need to have someone who can show you what your error is, show you what you need to work on. So if you are just practicing just to burn a rod, you need to know exactly what you're doing wrong to get it better. Because I have did some things, I ain't gonna lie to you, I have done some things before, um, not with just welding, I would say, but just because I had a good instructor and the people that was around me at the time, they kind of showed me what to look at. This is what you look for. You know, this is what you want, you know. So I took my time and tried to get it like they showed me. And that turned out right. And then they was always saying, okay, this is what you're doing wrong. You're going too fast. You're going too slow. You need to hesitate more. Uh, you need to bring your, um, uh, make sure your arc is tight. So there's a few different things, man, that, that you have to look out for to get yourself better. But you also want someone at least behind you while you're practicing or someone who know what it's supposed to look like or even know yourself, go get the information you need. So that way, when you're practicing, you're making progress. Because practicing is great, but it's just like anything else. You know, they say practice make perfect, but they practice the principles that's already perfect to make them better. So if you're just going and going, you can burn and burn, you know. Like I met a guy who'd been welding for a minute, and he always had a um, a niche at doing certain things a certain way, and I was like, hey, man, you know you can't do that this way. And he was like, really? I never knew that. And I was like, yeah, you got to do it like this. And once I showed him, he ran through it. Like, he thought that every time he strike the arc on a 70-18, he had to manipulate it. He had to do something to it. I'm like, nah, this is, this is not like a 60-10 or... 6011 you manipulated some you know if it got some galvanized metal if it's got some paint or something on it and it wasn't clean good you might have to make sure that the that the arc is touching both metals you know you might have to move it a little bit or when you're going or doing uh caps you have to do your weave or side to side or whatever you like to do but majority of the time if you got everything right if you're just trying to run a flat pass or a vertical pass and you just need a feel you can just keep it still and just float it all the way up. Maintain that nice gap. Uh, maintain that travel speed. Have your heat right. And, man, that thing will burn like do money. But uh, just wanted to say, man, you know, when you practicing, you know, get the information needed or have someone in your background or in your corner who can point you in that right direction to say, okay, this is what happened. This is what you should work on. You got this down. You just need to work on this now. And that's, you know, comes uh, with being a, I ain't going to say with being a good instructor over just uh, knowing how to seek, you know, knowing what you're seeking for. Like, don't be scared to ask somebody for some guidance. Like, hey, I need mine to look like this. Or how do I get mine to look like this? What am I doing wrong? So that's a big question, I guess, you have to ask yourself when you, you know, installing something or whatever the situation is, rigging it. You have to ask yourself a question, what am I doing wrong? And then just fix it. But be humble and uh, stay on your grind because practice does make perfect when you know you got some perfect information.